Hey everybody, welcome back to another opening video. Today, we have the first of many of a series of Paradox Rift openings. The new Scarlet and Violet set that just came out this past Friday. And to start, we are obviously going to be opening up a booster box, right? I always like to start out with one of these, uh, not just for you guys, but mainly for myself. As... You know, it gives me a uh, decent stack of cards to build decks from. And then, you know, right away uh, at the following league days, you know, I'm able to obviously um, go play. You know, play with them, right? And, and see how things work. So, yeah, here we go. This is the back description. Pretty cool. Garchomp, Mewtwo, Armor Rouge, Goldengo. Right, and a bunch of other Pokemon, Sandy Shocks as well, and Roaring Moon, the uh, the big card from this set. So that's the one that we're obviously hoping to pull the uh, the ancient ancient Salamence, in other words. And yeah, so without further ado, let's get into the opening. And as always, please let me know which side you think will uh, will win. I'm obviously gonna go with the uh, I'm gonna go with the right side this time, as you know, in the Obsidian Flames opening that we did, the uh, right side had the I believe it was the Gold Charizard. So another big hit card from this set. Or the last set, Obsidian Flames. So I'm expecting that we're going to get something good today. And yeah, I'll just get to use these 151 sleeves in the meantime. Pretty cool. Let's get into it. First pack. Nicket, Gliger, Blipbug, Fukoko, Tulip. Veluza, Chantel, Gimme Ghoul, Tatsugiri, and our first hit, Sandy Shocks EX. I really like this card actually, um, with the magnetic absorption. Pretty cool. And a water energy. So, our first hit was a pretty fire hit. I think this is a really good one, actually. So, and, um,. Yeah, fighting has got quite a bit of energy acceleration now. They have, you know, obviously this. I'm struggling to get that sleeve open. There we go. Um, they got this. They got the Coridon. They got Gutsy Pickaxe, right? Fighting, I think, is a pretty solid play right now. Pack number two. Can we get something better? Probably not. We'll probably just get a regular holo, but we can try. Elekid, another really good card. Tank a tank, Vanillix, Defiance Vest, Durant, Plusle, Wimpod, and more Peko. The um, this Pokemon has no energy attached to it. It has free retreat, so a nice dark free retreater. Next pack. This is a really odd one to open here like this. Honage, Dwebble, Horsey, Joltik, Garboder, Future, Booster Energy, Capsule, another really good card. Um, the Pokemon this card is attached to, the Future Pokemon, has no retreat cost. And the attacks it uses do 20 more damage to your opponent's active, so pretty cool. Screamtail, another really good card for Guardy with Roaring Scream there. And a Toxicristy EX. So, we're pulling a lot of fighting today, hey? This one's struggling too. <laughs> A lot of fighting Pokemon. We got Sandy Shocks, and then we got Toxicity. Let's go pack number four. And I think that's another thing too. You know, with uh, 
you know, this set, I think that they did improve the pull rates. Um, because I've been seeing some pretty, um, high hit, uh, hit boxes. Don't quote me wrong. But that's pretty good to do on, on, you know, obviously the, uh, Technical Machine Turbo Energize, Techno Radar, and Iron Moth, and then Espathra as our holo. On the, uh, it's pretty good to do on the best set of the year, right? Um, I think there's... There's a lot of, you know, playable things in this set, right? A lot of cool Pokemon. Um, and, uh, you know, I definitely think this is, uh, you know, there's going to be a lot of new decks coming from this set moving forward, right? Yeah, and as I said, you know, I've been seeing this for a long time, right? The uh, This format's moving you know, it's moving from a Iron Bundle is pretty cool. Curse Duster is interesting. Chen Pao, which is a uh, rare hollow rare and a Galisopod. Um, the set is moving from a, what's it called? A uh, one hit KO format, right? That's what this set is bringing in, right? I'm just taking a look here at the rest of the stuff. Um, mm -mm. It, you know, it's a it's a one-hit KO format right now, but they're not doing that anymore, right? What they're trying to do is they're trying to move from a one-hit KO format, like the Lugia Archaeops format when it originally came out, to a two-hit KO format, right? They're going to do that because it's going to make it a lot slower. Jirashi, which is good. Counter Catcher, nice. More Peko, Reverse Holo, Rare Holo, and Age Slash. They're going to move it from a one-hit KO format to a two-hit KO format. And, you know, obviously make the game a lot slower, which is, I think, incredibly good, right? As it gives a lot more um, room for, for other decks to come in that weren't as, you know, as fast, Tinka Tough, Iron Hands, EX, and this is the, I think it's the alt, so that's pretty sweet, and I'm happy with that one, <laughs> that is pretty nice, it's not Roaring Moon, but I'll take this one for sure, that's a great card, and a Groudon, so I'll put that in a sleeve, wow, yeah, and this here is one of the, uh, the goaded cards from the set oh wow that sleeve opens up really good there right just because of the amp you very much right um about taking an extra prize card so this is another really sought after card right now so that's pretty cool but yeah it's moving from a two hit ko or a one hit ko format to a two hit ko format and you know like i've been saying right since the release of scarlet and violet right they're changing the format and the format is eventually going to become a blend and if you have remembered the old formats iron jugulus another really cool card here with the homing headbutt 50 to 3 your opponent's pokemon that have any damage counters on it interesting card pardon me uh it's going to become a blend of I would say the Sun and Moon to Lost Thunder format, which is one of everybody's favorite formats, just because of the decks being played. It's going to become, you know, a blend of 2006, right? Zation, another really popular format, right? You know, among, uh, you know, older players, you know, I used to play back then myself, right? So I know all about that. And then it's going to have probably a little bit of 2010, right? And I think what they're trying to do with this format is they're trying to make it like the most perfect format ever. Professor Turo scenario here. The scoop up net, but as a supporter. Or, or scoop up as a supporter. And um, Garganackle. And uh, 
yeah, with the disruption aspect of 2010, and they just try to make it as the most perfect format as possible. Right? And I think that's going to be really good for the game. It's going to get a lot of new players in, as, you know, they don't just have to focus on, you know, some crazy expensive cards. Mouse hold EX. Right? They don't have to focus on some crazy expensive cards. And instead, you know, um, and especially as well with the affordability of everything. That's mouse hold. So pretty cool. With the affordability of everything. Right now too. Right? They're trying to get as many players into the game as possible and that's one thing that you can really appreciate about pokemon zatu a nice reversal of rare hole and a palkia that's one thing that you can appreciate is just the amount of new players that are coming in right which is more than pretty much any other game right now right with especially with these battle decks yeah, and you're not you're not spending you know five hundred dollars on a competitive deck. You know, I think a competitive deck right now can range from you know fifty to a hundred and fifty dollars, and I think that's being generous as well. Uh, blind side here, hundred snipe to anything that has damage counters on it, so that's cool. Iron Moth, right? Fifty to one hundred and fifty dollars being generous. Right, obviously it depends on rarity of the cards, you know. Um, you can probably go a little bit more beyond 150 if you like playing with your alt arts and stuff like that, right? You really, you could have an $800 deck in Pokemon, right? Everything foiled out. Highest rarity possible, but for a new player, what's the point, right? Uh, two rare hollows uh, as a reverse holo and a Pori Z. Pretty cool. So yeah, that's just the direction of where uh, Pokemon is being headed right now. And it's very exciting moving forward, you know. Uh, this is a set as well that's eventually going to be a, um, I would say, a rotation set. Just because of the new, um, and a Full Art Altaria EX. Just because of the new um, mechanics and ancient and future, right? Kind of like, you know, battle styles, right? With the single strike and rapid strike. It went to battle styles on. Uh, after sword and shield on. So, which it is right now. So I'm expecting, yeah, this to be eventually be a, uh, a rotation set. But it is a little bit weird because they did label this as G. Right? Where I would have... You know, obviously labeled it as H if it is a rotation set, so I might be wrong on that. Steelix. Yeah, so I might be wrong on that, but I don't know. Pack number 16 on the left side. Tinkatuff, yeah, so I don't know. Earth and Vessel, another really good card. Medical Energy, this is kind of dumb, but whatever. Um, Vanillish, Minon, and Chiyu as the holo. So lots of those already. Um, but yeah, I, I would have put this as H for the rotation set, but I think they want to rotate um, this with the rest of the uh, Scarlet and Violet sets that have already came out. Uh, base Paldea, Obsidian Flames, and 151. Screamtail, Iron Bundle. A Toad Scroll as the uh, Trainer Gallery card. And then a Chien Pao. And that is the last one on the uh, left side here. So I picked the right side to win. So. This is what we got for our hollows and reverse hollows here. Reverse holo rares. Pretty cool. And then here we got these for as the ultra rares and up on the uh, left side of the box. So 
pretty cool. Can we do better than that, though, with the right side? Let's go. But yeah, what a time to be playing uh, playing Pokemon. So, um, I'd say the a thing that's possible is that uh, your you know your deck. Oh, nice, Professor Turo scenario reverse, and a Palkia. I'd say one thing that's possible is your deck to be cheaper than the actual entry fee to play at a Pokemon event. I don't know how much that is. I've been hearing it's probably around eighty to a hundred dollars for a regional level event so and you know that's just it goes to say you know you can build a deck for you know a lot uh serena ex for a lot cheaper than that serena ex an interesting card here 310 HP, Icicle, Soul. Uh, put damage counters on one of your opponent's Pokemon until its remaining HP is 30. So interesting. For Grass Energy, so that's another thing that's odd. All right? And then Trop Kick for 180. Heal uh, 30 damage from this Pokemon, and it recovers from all special conditions. So pretty much just a tank card, right? Next pack. Another thing with Serena is you can you obviously use Irida with it, right? Um, I think Gardenia's Vigor as well works because of the Grass Energy. Iron Moth because of the Grass Energy Claws, right? what else we can this one broke weird let's see what else we can get come on let's get some roaring moons luxurious cape and snowlax doll nicket and wo chien as our holo but yeah um as for what's good what's gonna be good you know with it, with this set right well, there are a few things popping up that, uh, you know, look to be good. Obviously, Roaring Moon. You know, Roaring Moon is going to be the center card of a deck, right? Brute Bonnet. There we go. Is our holo? That's not too bad of a card either. Roaring Moon and uh, Goldengo are probably going to be the two uh, decks that come out of this. The two main decks, right? Um, Iron Hands is not a main deck. Oh, and I guess Iron Valiant as well. Um, yeah, Iron Hands is not going to be a main deck to you, right? It is more of a card that gets added to decks, right? It gets added to decks because, um, really, really because of its attack costs. It's, it's way too high. Four energies, you... How are you going to get four energies into play consistently and only deal 120 damage, right? There's there's going to be Qian Pao. There's going to be decks where that's just going to be absolutely useless and you're just going to get overpowered. That makes sense. So how, how are you going to do it, right? Roaring Moon and Goldengo both have the ability to one hit KO and that's one thing that I think uh, you know will uh, you know make them really good right decks that have the power medical energy again iron bundle that have the power to one hit KO and a bombardier EX another really good card um, that have the power to one hit KO generally tend to be the the best decks right look at Gardevoir look at Lugia right it's another really good card here with fast carrier if you go first you can use the this attack during your first turn switch your deck for up to three basic pokemon put them onto your bench shuffle your deck afterwards so another really good 
setup card, right? Uh, pretty much done sparse from the olden days, from the, uh, you know, uh, EX Sandstorm set. So, really good. So, definitely need to get more of those. Probably want to get about six. Maybe more. It depends if it's a four of in a deck. I can see it being a four of in the future. For decks that can set up, right? Um, the other thing, too, that you got to kind of keep in mind right now with, with deck building is the rotation. Jirashi, Techno Radar, right? Um, and then the Kingdra here, so that's a Reverse Hole, Rare Hole, and Zekrom. Right, another really good card for Lightning. 130, and um, the uh, the attack kind of sucks because it's 40 to your bench Pokemon. But if you can combo with that with something to uh, to help that, right? That increases damage when it gets damage counters, then sure. But that is obviously the rotation, right? Um, right now, I think, you know, Mew is definitely going to be, you know, pretty much anything in E is going to be rotated. So anything from Battle Styles all the way up until Fusion Strike. So Mew is going to be gone. Mantike and Kingdra again. Um, so... Yeah, Mew's going to be gone. Gardevoir is going to lose quite a bit. Right? Um, what else is there? Um, hmm. I, I think maybe not necessarily like full decks that will go, but probably like portions of it, right? Because the main card that will be leaving is obviously battle vip paths right how many decks right now use battle vip paths a lot right zard uses it gardevoir lost box right giratina right uh latios the only decks that don't use it i believe are lugia and i believe it's maridon which is why I think those two decks moving forward are going to be two of the best decks because they don't really lose anything, right? Most of Lugia is built in F, right? So once F rotates, Lugia is... Well, Lugia is an F, right? So it does rotate. Larry and Deoxys, right? So just kind of keep that in mind. With the uh, the new formats, I think we're going to have an announcement, obviously, at um, LAIC, the first international, coming up in a couple weeks here. They're going to give, they gave some time for everybody to experiment with, you know, obviously the new cards. Thievel here, while well, this set side is a dud, um, with the new cards here, we just got three hits compared to the other side. Um... Yeah, they're giving time for everybody to experiment with it, right? Two weeks after the release. So not next weekend. The weekend after, I believe. So the weekend of the, the, believe it's the 18th and the 19th. That is when they're going to have the, uh, you know, the for first international. So Iron Moth there, Jirashi, and a Vulcanian. A lot of hollows. It's cool that we got a reverse draw sheet, Iron Moth, so I really like both of them. And then the next one here, four packs left, including this one. Oh, that just not did not break the way that I wanted. But yeah, it'll be interesting to see. Uh, as I think, what I think it's gonna top. I think. You know, obviously the new decks, like I mentioned, Roaring Moon, Goldengo, and then um, decks, you know, that have uh, Iron Hands put into Tinglu, right, will obviously show up. But I think it'll, a lot of the decks will just be the same decks that we're playing right now, right? I think Lugia, Maridon for sure, Gardevoir, Lost Box, Chen Pao, obviously, you know, with the, with the new Iron Hands, Charizard, right? I think those are 
you know, gonna be uh, gonna be there. Mill tank, Minior, Ferrothorn, and ooh, there we go, a nice full art trainer and Professor Turo's scenario, another really good card. That is definitely gonna be, uh, you know, some some value right there. This is going to be an interesting card here. You know, definitely a nice one of index, right? Maybe a two of. Um, if you're playing control, I can see you probably playing more than, you know, obviously one. You can be playing like four. But, uh, yeah, another interest, another really good card there pulled. Second last pack. And so far, the left side is absolute kicking our butt. So we do need some fire here. Can we get some fire? Volcanion. And then a low kicks. Last pack magic. So the other, the right side has lost, right? On the left side, we've definitely hit more pulls. I don't think we're going to beat that Iron Hands EX with this, right? So I'm already giving the left side the win, but can we still get another hit here? Can we get some last pack magic? Let's go. Let's get, let's get, let's get it. Technical Machine again, two Evolution, and a Zatu. So we don't get one there, but another good playable card there, All right? Um, for a single prizer. Shadow Rider Calyrex kind of does the same thing, right? The VMAX, so another great card. So overall, let's see what we got for our hits. Turo's Scenario, Mantike, Bombardier, Serena, Toad Scroll, Altaria, Mousehold, Iron Hands, EX, Iron Moth, Toxitricity, and Sandy Shock. So we didn't really get anything too crazy. Um, none of the cool cards that I have been looking for. I think we got the lower end of a mediocre box, but we did get the Iron Hands. We did get the Turo Scenario, and then... Uh, I'll bombard you as well for our, for our playable stuff. So pretty cool. And that is the first opening of Paradox Rift. So, you know, obviously, you know, leave a like, comment, subscribe, etc. All that stuff. Uh, we're still doing that giveaway at 250 subscribers. So um, the faster we can, the faster we can get there, uh, I can give it out. Um, yeah, and like I said, you know, the first of a series of Paradox Rift openings. So, because there's two Elite Trainer boxes in this set, we'll probably do one right after the other, followed by a um, the booster bundle, and uh, or I'll do the uh, the three pack promo blisters, but the single pack promo blisters. Uh, either or, um, those will be the, the like the last two videos for this set. So pretty cool but uh yeah there you go everybody thank you so much for watching and once again see you in the next video